All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the Apostles, the Great Millstone, for teaching us to warm and truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashima, Shai. I went into the Lord's uh, willing of the final lesson. You know, uh, titled, uh, No One is Above Reproof. You know, in the reproof, you know, let's get the definition of the word reproof. It says, what is the biblical definition of reproof? It says criticism for a fault. You know, so we as, you know, the prophets of Yah by Shema Shai, the teachers of the Heavenly Father, you know, starting with the apostles and others, a great millstone that have been given, you know, the understanding of these scriptures. We are criticizing our people. Uh, for their faults, you know, which they're which they are committing, you know, down here upon the earth, just as we have uh been commanded to do. Let's get that. This is um Isaiah uh chapter fifty eight verse one, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. You see, in that voice that we are lifting up, that standard you know, um, is the Holy Scriptures. You see? <clears throat> scriptures say, uh, lifting up uh, uh, the banner upon the high mountains. You see, we're lifting up uh, the standard, you see, which are the Holy Scriptures. You know, and we're letting you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know where you're going off at. You know, um, another definition right here says... It says, compared to other verbs indicating disapproval, such as rebuke or reprimanded, reproof implies an often kindly intent to correct a fault. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're just correcting you, you know, because our people, you know, are, uh, are what? They have gone out of the way of understanding, you see, and now, you know, through us as a nation going out of the way of understanding we are in the midst of the congregation of the dead which we have been commanded to arise out of you know how are we going to arise by taking heed uh to the teachings of our lord and savior yahweh shai you see what's an example of reproof reproof is an expression of disapproval when you scold someone for bad behavior your scold your scolding words you know, uh, so we're we're using our words to, to to get on our people. This is Proverbs fifteen and ten. It says, "Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way." So correction it, it is grievous, you know, unto the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that have forsaken the ways of the Heavenly Father. <laughs> you know what I mean? You forsook the way. It says. It says, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. And you hate the reproof that's being brought out by the apostles and elders of the great millstone. You see, you, you know, you don't like a uh, correction. You don't like for Yah by Shema Shai, you know, uh, to correct you. And what's gonna, what's that's going to lead to? That's gonna lead you when these upcoming uh, calamities come. You know, when these upcoming perils, you know, you're you're not going to be defended. You know, Yah by Shema Shai is not going to be on your side to deliver you. You know, when you reject the words of Yah by Shema Shai, who is a great king, you see, you are therefore rebelling uh, from the orders of the king. You know, you're making war against uh, Yah by Shema Shai, and the Lord doesn't take kindly to, to threats. This is uh, Jeremiah 7 and uh, 28. I'm going to start at 27. Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them. And that's what we're doing. We're speaking all the words of the Holy Scriptures unto our people. We're not holding anything back. We're telling them the full truth and nothing but the truth. But they would not hearken to unto thee. You see, it's written that two-thirds of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be, are going to be destroyed because you will not hearken to the words of Yah by Shema Thou shalt also call unto them, but they 
will not answer thee. You know, Jake doesn't want to take any accountability, you know, for the actions. You know, we're calling out their wickedness, and, and, and Jake is just acting like, you know, we're not even there. You know, acting as if, you know, the way of the Heavenly Father is not good enough for them. It says, verse 28, But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord, which are the prophets, which this this is a nation, you see, <laughs> Two-thirds is a nation within themselves. You know, just as Israel, you have the Israel of the Most High. This is a, 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 you know, they're what? The seed of evildoers. You see, it says, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receive correction. You don't want to receive correction, you know, and, and that's what we're giving you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Correction is coming straight out of the Holy Scriptures on how we're supposed to conduct ourselves down here upon the earth. It says, nor receive of correction, truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. You see? So uh, the truth is nowhere to be seen in these wicked uh, Israelites. You know? They are down here upon the earth committing all type of wickedness. You know? This is uh, Sirach 20 and 3. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? It's a good thing. In the eyes of Yahweh Shemal Shai, when you're reproved, when Yahweh Shemal Shai, you know, threatens you with his words, you know, scriptures say the Lord shall threaten, and who shall not early be beaten powder at, at beaten to powder at his presence. You know, here it is. We're we're you know, we're threatening you with the words of the Lord, we're telling you that the day of the Lord is nigh at hand. And and when the Lord pre presents himself by way of judgment, bringing judgment upon the world, you see you're gonna be beaten to powder. You know, you're not going to be uh, shown any mercy. It says, how good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? You're supposed to show Yahweh Shema Shai through your actions uh, that you are taking heed to his words. First, for so shall thou escape willful sin. You know, and that, you know, is, is going to be the ruin <laughs> to our people. Sin, you know, committing iniquity, sin upon sin. <clears throat> this is um let me pull it up right here I got a couple more this is a uh, second timothy's chapter three Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen and it reads It says all scripture is given by the inspiration of the most high. You see the, the these these words that we're reading out of the Holy Bible, this ain't just some book. You know, this ain't just some uh, book that the white man uh made up, you know, this ain't some book that you know all like random men just put together. No. These words that are written this is the instant this 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 was inspired by Yahweh Shema Shai. You know you have a, you know you have a, a, a teacher who inspired you to do something. You know well the Heavenly Father inspired his men his servants to write down these words, and to and to lead these words for us in the book. You know to all generations that will follow after. You see so we cannot take uh what we have uh lightly. You know, this isn't just a small thing that we have in our hands, having the, having the words of life. It says, all scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine. So, so the Holy Bible is profitable for doctrine. What is doctrine? Teachings. You see, it's, 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 it's profitable. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, when you take heed to this, these words, it's a good return. It says... And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof. You see, there goes that word reproof again. For ins for 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 instruction, for uh, I'm sorry, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect. You know, the, the heavenly Father. You know what? How shall I say? Be ye perfect, as the heavenly Father in heaven is perfect. It, we're, we're learning to be perfect. You know, with our intent. You see, it says, 
that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So we're being thoroughly uh, furnished. You see, we're, this word is cleaning us up. You know, we're going through our fiery trials. You know, uh, the, the works that a man who repents does is being accepted in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see? <clears throat> I'm going to get... Um, let me get one more of them closed out. This is um Proverbs uh chapter twelve verse one. Whoso loveth correction, loveth knowledge. So if you love correction, you love the knowledge of Yah by Shema Shai, which is gonna be what? The stability of, stability of our times. But he that hated for proof is brutish. You know, you're at you have the brute beast beast. You know, that was made to be taken and destroyed. And that's what Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to do unto those, you know, that, can, that, that reject his reproof. That re reject his words that are being spoken by his servants, the prophets, the apostles, and those are great millstone, you know. Lord is the one that you edify and say, Shalom.